Hi, I'm Tim. We're here at the uh, Overland Expo Mountain West, and this is my Land Cruiser, and we're gonna check it out. The armor I have on this truck, I guess, starts with the front bumper, which is a custom-made at Maltex shop in Germany. Uh, then he has his own line of uh, skid plates and stuff like that that run underneath the transmission, the water tank, and stuff like that. The house batteries are all protected. I'm rocking the 37-inch, the, uh, the Cooper Discoverers on the Braid Beadlock a system wheels which are by the way pretty damn awesome wheels <laughs> these are uh, the, the uh, Baja LP9s and then I've got some side shooters here from Baja as well the roof rack is a front runner uh, pretty standard rack system but uh, everything you know is easily customizable to that this this truck uh, came with uh, originally came with a uh, stock snorkel so it uh, it has, still has the Land Cruiser stock snorkel set up. This is kind of a cool feature too with the uh, traction boards. They fall, the traditional traction boards fall down and you can use it as a table as well. This vehicle started off as an 80 series, a 1993 80 series. That's the chassis that it's built on. And they took a 79 series, so the 70 series cab and married it to the 80 series and then uh, put the carbon fiber camper on it. And, a company in Germany called Maltec does these uh, does these expedition trucks. They build on the Land Cruiser platform, the Defender platform, and the G Wagon. And uh, this happens to be one of their North American spec trucks. So the, this camper, the carbon fiber camper, is actually uh, fully livable inside. It's full, completely insulated. It's got a Wabasto heater. It's got everything you need: two fridges, three burner stove, hot and cold water, sink power you know 2000 watt power inverter so i can run my nespresso machine it's got solar on the roof um, it's uh, completely livable inside uh, and that's basically how we use it i mean a lot of times we're doing all our cooking and stuff outside but when the weather turns bad you know we're we're sitting inside and staying warm and staying out of the weather and able to cook and do everything we need to do so with this the interior is pretty much stock for a 79 or a 70 series uh, other than a few nice things that Malti does or Maltec does is they put these Recaro seats in here and then they take and uh, wrap all the door panels with leather and do suede headliner and a lot of really nice upgrades and things like that. The dash is pretty much stock. I mean, other than I just put in a, a new Alpine Halo 11 inch screen so that I, I can start running my navigation and Apple CarPlay, all that kind of stuff off of there. The favorite mod, I think the, my favorite mod is the Wobasta heater. That seems kind of boring, but it's like, gotta tell you, it's a game changer. Like when you're, you know, out in 20 degree weather and you flip that thing on, it's nice and toasty in there. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Graham from Go Fast Campers. Uh, here with my uh, big pile of junk, 1997 FZJ80 on 40s. It was pretty much stock on 40s until I got it and I just have only put suspension underneath it so far, but we'll kind of walk through the truck and show you what's going on. So stock 1FZ motor, um, actually has a stock gears in it right now because I'm waiting on the nitro gears to come in, but it's on 410s. It spins them fine, but not at altitude. Um, running a 40 inch 1350 R17 uh, Nitto Trail Grappler on a 17 inch method real B locks. And we just put a new Dobinson lift kit on it. It's got the uh, MRR kit. I forget what spring rates they are, but Dobinson makes like 80 different springs for the 80. So it's pretty cool to be able to dial it in pretty specifically. This car has a ton of, bo ton of body work done to it. So all of these fenders were actually built and radiused and clearanced by a uh, community college in Oregon. So they've got about 420 hours into it. So I actually bought it finished from a company called Swag Off Road who used the community college to build it out, which is pretty rad. So I got a full respray at the time too. Uh, we've got our tent up there, uh, the Go Fast Platform RTT. 
We have a custom mounting interface with the 80 series trucks. And kind of the craziest part about this build is the rear fender clearancing. So from here all the way down to there is fully custom. So it's all fabricated. They notched out all the door cards, rebuilt the interior door panel sheet metal. I can still fit two car seats in the back and everything clears. And the wheel wells radius out about seven and a half inches and fully tubbed in the back. So the thing still closes like a normal truck would, still drives really well. And then in the back, you can see where it's been tubbed out, but that's pretty much it. So my favorite thing about this truck is that it's kind of a sleeper. It looks pretty stock unless you know what you're looking at. I mean, apart from having big tires, obviously. So the bodywork is just done so well, it'd be impossible to replicate. The things that I have planned next for this rig are LS swapping it is kind of the, the future goal. I uh, want to put the nitro gears in the axles and then getting the uh, Cruiser Outfitters has a 10% underdrive for the transfer case. And then some chromoly axle shafts and hopefully not break too much stuff, maybe a slightly bigger tire. All right, that's about it for this Yoda Force rig walk around. Thanks for having me.